Yeah, and never won a Southern 500, but now you get to see your car here in Victory White Lane. What is that like? It means a lot to me. It really does. The last time we won with this paint scheme, we won a Coke 600 and the Sears Point race out in California with this paint scheme. And this was Miller Brewing Company's return to NASCAR. So when I saw that he was going to run this scheme, I got really excited. And obviously, I felt like I was watching my own kid tonight. I'm up there at MRN calling the race, and I'm looking at this thing going, holy smokes. And then we lost the paint scheme deal to Jeff Gordon's car. But when we won the race, I get to say we won the race. So that, that was really cool. And I'm, and I'm saying we because I'm pretty emotional to this paint scheme. I really like this. This is big time to me, and I'm happy for the team. Obviously, you're working now as an unbiased broadcaster, but what were those closing laps like? Actually, I felt really sorry for Kyle Larson. He was so strong, and we were up there talking about, man, can Ganassi's team close the deal because they've been so close, talking about the big three dominating, and maybe the fourth guy could be Larson. But I said, it gets down to the money stop, man. We got the money stop coming. And when that happened, with 20 to go, and those guys beat them out of pit road, I said, oh, boy, here we go. And uh, obviously, I was getting pretty excited. My son is with me. Come here, Greg. This hat that he's wearing right now, this was the hat that I was in victory lane with 28 years ago at Coca-Cola 600, that very hat. And so he dug it out and brought it. So we got a lot of memories of that race. Yeah, maybe that was just the good luck charm that Brad Kozlowski and his crew needed. Rusty, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.